Well, good morning, everybody. We're on to make another fun recipe today. Okay, so the story of this is, I have been asked to do an appetizer buffet for a men's event that our church is having this weekend. So I'm pretty excited for that. Appetizers are a lot of work, but they are so much fun. They really are. So this recipe that I'm doing is caramelized bacon, or as others have referred to it as meat candy, okay? So this is really a foolproof recipe coming from Ina Garten's book, Foolproof. Okay, so if you're not familiar with her story, Ina Garten, she's the Barefoot Contessa. Her story is that she was a caterer for many, many years, and then she ended up with a Food Network um, show that just fascinated me and I kind of fell in love with her show and now I collect her books. But this recipe out of foolproof is caramelized bacon, okay? So I'm going to show you how I make this. Um, I do it a little bit differently after trial and error <laughs> from this, okay? So the first time I made this recipe was actually for a wedding and they had an appetizer buffet for the wedding and I had stumbled upon this recipe in uh, August of 2013 to be exact is what I have and it has kind of been a hit ever since. So first of all we want a baking sheet and you need to line it with foil like completely line it no gaps do not skimp on foil so you use the heavy duty stuff and you definitely line the whole thing. So what I like to do here is cook my bacon, what I would call al dente. We're just gonna pretend that the term goes over and crosses over, okay? So it's thick cut bacon, applewood smoked to be exact is what the recipe calls for. Now this recipe, it says we'll make about 15 hors d'oeuvres. Um, so what we want to do is basically pack this sheet pan with bacon and of course bacon shrinks, you know, and the thing of it is when I have um, cooked it off a little bit first, you can get rid of that excess grease, which is like huge because otherwise it's like an oil slick. When I did this per recipe the first time, um, it, it was just a mess. So this is what I do. So that's why I'm gonna tell you that. And if you're interested, I'm sure you can find the recipe online. So first we want to pack our sheet. Then we are gonna bake it off until it's almost done. Okay, we do not want a crisp thing happening. So flip it once or twice during the baking process. The recipe calls for 375 degrees to do that. Okay, so while that is pretend baking, Okay, so then I think we're gonna make the filling next. I just happen to have baked off the pan so we can kind of do this all in one piece rather than piece together video. So anyway, let's get on to the filling. So it's the filling, or not even filling, it's more of the topping. It's the candy part of our meat candy to be exact, okay? So this is uh, brown sugar, pecan, and then it adds maple syrup and some heat. So we are gonna start out, I'm making a double recipe of this filling for the excess that I need yet, whoops. So we're gonna do a full cup of brown sugar, light brown sugar, and it says lightly packed, okay? So that would be two recipes, and there is our light brown sugar. Okay, and then pecan, chopped or whole, of course, but once you put them through the processor, they're going to be chopped regardless. <laughs> so if um, you don't have pecans, usually buying the chopped are a little less expensive, the pieces. So we're gonna do a full cup of that. Then we are gonna do four teaspoons of kosher salt. So that will be a tablespoon and a third. That's what I'm doing, kosher salt. And then it is, uh, it'll be two teaspoons of pepper. And you can freshly grind this. You can use the coarse stuff. You can use the fine stuff. I happen to have some fine that I'm going to use in this. And again, quality matters. Get good spices. I like Penzi's spices. That's what I do. I order them since we have nobody local that sells them. And then it calls for an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. This is the hot stuff, people. So depending on your taste buds, 
you might want to go all out and even do a little bit more. That's completely up to you. Okay, so now we're going to process this so far and just pulse it up a bit here. Okay, so I have a nice fine grind on that. Now, we need pure maple syrup, like the real deal, not Mrs. Butterworth's, none of that other stuff, okay? So it calls for two tablespoons, so again, we're gonna use four. One, two, three, and that's about gonna finish my bottle off, actually, and four. Okay, and that is the real stuff, like from a neighbor in Minnesota. Now basically this is just gonna form a paste that we're gonna smear all over this El Dente bacon, okay? Now what I recommend doing, because it it is pasty, but it's easier to work with if it is cool. So while that bacon is baking, I'm sticking this in the fridge and then I'm gonna pull out what I already have and we're gonna carry on here, okay? All right, now here's the filling that I made a little bit earlier. So we've got this filling, it's been chilling in the refrigerator, so it is a little bit firmer and it's just gonna be easier to work with, okay? So let's get our bacon. So this is a full sheet pan now that I have this bacon. And you have to pour all the grease off, like all the grease off as much as you can get. And it does, like I say, shrink up. Now what we wanna do is Put all this on here and we're just going to spread it out okay so again this is the candy part of our meat candy and once we get all of this on this bacon and just spread it out as evenly as you can okay now again this is the easiest way that I have found to do this if you read the recipe it actually calls to separate all your bacon pieces and do this to each one separately and I did that the first time and it was, it just did not work for me. So if you had better results with that, that's great. For me, it did not work. So I am going to just carry on and get all this on top of here and then show you what that looks like. And then we're gonna bake it off again, okay? But the beauty of it now is it won't be sitting in an oil slick when it all comes out because this stuff melts and it will like fill the whole pan. It will bubble up and basically caramelize like a candy on top of this bacon. So it calls to bake it in uh, 25 to 30 minutes until the topping is very browned but not burnt, obviously. So you do want to watch it. Um, you don't want this burned. That's not a good thing. And then you get to start all over, okay? So that is what I'm going to work on and then I'm going to catch you back here in a few minutes when we have that completed. All right, we have got this all smeared on. That would be the technical term. You see how that's like packed on there? Okay, and like I say, now we're going to bake it off at 375 and this will melt and fill this whole pan. And then we're gonna pull it out of the oven and I'm gonna show you how I make this much easier in my opinion than the original recipe instructions do, okay? So let's get on to the next step. All right, we are back. Okay, I just pulled this out of the oven. It's been sitting here maybe a minute or two. So you see how this has melted basically across the whole thing, right? So this candy melts. Now the key, the trick, my trick, is that you need to get it off this foil. So as soon as it starts to set up, we're gonna pull this off completely, and then we are cutting it with a pizza cutter. So the original recipe called for you to separate every piece of bacon and then put the coating on it, but what I found is that it just slid right off. I mean, it was a mess. So this works much, much better. So we're gonna just lift this off and it's like super greasy, but okay. All right, so there it is. Now, we're gonna cut this up, okay? So you can basically cut this into as many pieces as you want to. So my notes just say, Alexa, turn off timer. Sorry about that. As soon as it gets pliable, then we want to get it off the foil. So this basically is the hardest part of all this. So I'm gonna cut this up 
all right? So I have like six across and then you can just kind of like make them in little bacon shaped pieces, does that make sense? So let me cut off one here for you so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. And then it's to get it off this foil because it will start to stick as it hardens and then that's gonna make it miserable again. And there we have it. <laughs> Meat candy. And I tell you what, it is delicious. I'm not going to actually eat one because this is for an event I'm doing, but I'll tell you what, this is a super hit anytime I have made it. It's one of those things that when you put up the sign of what it is, you know, and they're like, what? Caramelized bacon, what? It's a thing and it's a delicious thing and it's a novelty thing. So I encourage you to try that for the next thing that you need to bring something to, right? Like maybe Super Bowl Sunday. So I hope that has been fun for you. Again, the recipe is out of Foolproof by Ina Garten. And I gave you my little tips on tricks on how I have actually changed up the recipe just a bit in technique not in ingredients because the flavor is just outstanding. So I hope you've enjoyed this, you guys. I hope you have something great planned for your day. I hope you have something even greater planned on your menu. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day.